The allegations against Tim Walls strike at the very core of what the public holds dear. The sanctity of military service and the expectation that leaders embody sincerity and honor. When a leader faces scrutiny over their words and actions, it isn't just about addressing the immediate concerns. It's about confronting the deeper fears that those in power may lack the authenticity and credibility that people so desperately need. And both of you, with your keen understanding of how this works, especially from National Guard families, I, I can tell you this, having been one of those that came back, we were in support of OEF, but being sitting in there with OEF, OIF veterans, when we came back, they showed us the horse whisper and told us to be nice when we went home. And that was the extent of it. And that was in 2004. Now, I'm proud to say that because of the people sitting in here and people who came before me, things have changed over the last four years. They have not changed enough. But Mr. Kennedy is following and, and moving something forward that uh, the late senator from Minnesota, Senator Wellstone, advocated so clearly, mental health parity and this issue of destigmatizing mental health, of understanding. And I being in there and knowing as a first sergeant, know exactly what you're saying and watching as people aren't trained on this, that there is um, uh, there's a discrimination that goes against a soldier who has the courage, the fortitude, and as you said, the insight of, to, to admit this. So there's a couple things I want to ask you. Integrity and honor aren't just ideals. They are the bedrock of trust, especially when tied to the profound respect for military service. The accusation of stolen valor against Tim Walls, stemming from his claims of supporting the Operation Enduring Freedom, OEF, hits particularly hard. These claims resonate with conservative values that deeply respect the sacrifices made by soldiers. But beyond the specifics of this accusation lies a broader concern the public's trust in Tim Walls, and by extension, Kamala Harris's campaign. The debate over whether Walls has misrepresented his military service is not just about one man. It's a reflection of the values that the public expects from those who lead them.